Shalom. I want to start off by giving all under praise and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakarash. Double honors to our elders and apostles for teaching us the truth through this Bible. Shalom to all you walking and pushing out this truth. You know, with the hopes of being saved from this coming destruction. Just want to go into this, <clears throat> you know. Spirit just got a lot of articles, you know, on, on basically layoffs, you know. Layoffs and uh, store closers. No, so let's uh jump into that, jump into this because this this is uh the time that we're in, you know. America's uh doors are shutting, man. You know, I mean all these uh these little stores and, and stuff like that, you know that that you people are accustomed to being open, you know. <clears throat> A lot of you people, you just can't see this place going down, man. But uh, this is a uh, GM to start laying off. 4,000 salaried workers on Monday, you know, so this is, this is yesterday, it says, uh, New York CNN business layoffs for about 4,000 salaried staff at Gen General Motors are due to start Monday, a previously announced move that comes just as President Donald Trump prepares to trumpet American manufacturing at next week's State of the Union address. The layoffs are part of a 15% reduction in white white <coughs> color jobs in North America that the automaker first announced back in November. At the same time, it announced plans to close four U.S. plants as well as a fifth in Canada. The job cuts and plant closings are part of ongoing cost reductions to free up six billion dollars annually to invest in a new generation of autos such as electric <coughs> and self-driving vehicles it is also making a push to develop a ride hailing service that will allow gm to make more money by selling rides to customers rather than vehicles so esau wants to <clears throat> had these self-driving cars, you know, these, uh, I think it's called autonomous cars, you know, <clears throat> so it really ain't gonna be, he, he really, in his mind, you know, he's, there ain't gonna be no need for none of this, you know, people ain't, people ain't buying any of these cars like that, no, no way, you know, so, you know, so like it, that's just the first article, let's see, uh, now you got, uh, it says right here, so I'm gonna put these in the, uh, description box at the end lord willing you know so you want to check check it out you know you want to do a video on it you know i'm gonna put them on the, the uh description box so it says uh vice media to lay off 10 percent of staff and company restructuring so it says vice media revealed on friday that it would move to lay off roughly 10 percent of its employees in a reorganization that is expected to cut 250 jobs a spokesperson for the company confirmed to the rap on friday come so that's another one you know you got a bunch of layoffs you know early in the year a bunch of layoffs a bunch of uh store closures you know this right here is a bias a buyout it says uh mcclatchkey follows buzzfeed vice and others in cutting staff McClatchkey Company emailed all staff to say about 10% of the newspaper chain's employees would be offered voluntary buyouts. All of the details were not immediately available, <coughs> though, though a meeting was called for 2 p.m. To today at the Miami Herald, the chain's most significant newspaper to offer details. This will be a one-time opportunity <clears throat> so I get we do not anticipate another foreman stresses the buyout is optional it is important to us that employees are empowered to make the next steps on their career path <laughs> he writes and also re references driving our company to a functionally based organizational structure and targeted strategic areas it is unclear what that statement means gone you know basically you know hey you know uh <clears throat> let me see
see. Uh, so I want to go to store closures next. Let's see. So it says, uh, these chains are closing tons more stores in 2019. You know, 2018 was, uh, that was a whole, <clears throat> that was, uh, just a whole disaster on these, uh, little stores, man. You know, it was uh, the retail apocalypse. It was all kind of, uh, stores closing in 2018, like, like never before, you know, and every year, every year it gets worse. You know, so it's, uh, says the retail apocalypse isn't over yet. Thousands of stores were, thousands of stores were obliterated in 2018, Con Re Research firm CoStar says a record 145 million square feet of retail space got empty. The same as shutting down the, the massive Pentagon 20 time, 22 times over. And now retailers are working on wiping more stores off the map in 2019. Gone. And this is this prophecy, you know. Oh, but Shiba Shai has it to where these these stores are closing. You know. Let's see. Uh, you know, this this whole economy, this whole place is is America is, is breaking down as as a whole. You know, you got those. It's mainly it's destroyed by this word, man. This word exposing Esau. You know, this word being pushed all over the globe. You know, every everything is is coming at a at a fast uh pace right now. You know, including these these store closures. So let's see. Uh, here are twenty chains that are already closing stores this year, counting down to the retailer that may lose the most U.S. locations. So you got J.C. Penney. Closing stores in 2019, three. You know it says three, but <clears throat> sometimes it be it'll say three. Then uh, what? Unexpectedly, you know, they say at the end of the year, it'll show that they closed way more of them. You know, so this is just what it says right now. Three. You know, Coles, uh, four. You know, to the spirit, a lot more of these doors gonna be closing. Just, just that. You know, five. J. Crew. Macy's, you know, eight. Target, six. Let's see, Lord and Taylor, nine. <clears throat> Henry, Henry Bendel, never heard of that. 23. Beauty Brands, 25. You know, pretty much just scroll. Kmart, 48. Lowell's, 51. See Sears, you got seventy-two. Let's see, uh, Starbucks one hundred and fifty. Gap, Banana Republic two hundred at least. It see it says at least two hundred. You know, so those spirit, it's gonna be more than two hundred. Chico's the first of at least 250 Jimboree up to 900 stores. So this is all kinds of uh, <coughs> stores closing, you know. Yeah, this this economy is, is, is winding on down, man. America is is winding on down, you know. It is uh, times where all these iconic stores, Sears, Toys R Us, you know, Toys R Us last year, you know, went bankruptcy and closed, you know, Sears, uh, Kmart, all these stores that, that, that was, uh, once like the, uh, on every commercial, you know, is like a staple to this, this country, you know, we're all closed, all shutting down, man, you know, this is, uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 3, in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease because they are few, and those that look out of the windows be darkened. Gone. So, you know, grinders, meaning to the work, you know, the work for, for this damn this damn America. You know, grinders work. You know, I mean, I used to have to uh, have a, a co-worker that used to say, uh, he used to say, oh, yeah, back, back. He was an old school Jake. He'd say, oh, back to the grind, you know, you know meaning back to back to the work, you know. 
they would say that after break but uh and the grinders cease because they are few and those that look out of the window would be darkened you know so that's that's the uh, that's a lot of uh people that's gonna be out of jobs man all those stores closing there's gonna be a lot of people out of jobs you know so this this grinding is is, is ceasing quick in america it says and the door shall be shut in the streets gone you know and you you go and uh you probably can go somewhere in one of your neighborhoods you know and see some uh stores that are that used to be open you know that are they are now closed you know <clears throat> so, so then the door shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low so when when these places uh when when the sound of the 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 work is low you know it's gonna be a bunch of uh closed doors in the streets you know a bunch of these businesses is gonna be closed you know I got an area around here where I noticed uh a place a closed in that same same exact little center you know and nothing will ever come back in there you know and it's it's clear by this scripture right here you know so it says when the sound of the grinding is low and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird and all the daughters of music shall be brought low you know you people gonna be waking up super early you know super early to go find jobs you know they ain't gonna ain't gonna be no more you know what the scriptures say to uh the uh work for uh egypt just paraphrasing it <clears throat> so con this is a uh, jeremiah 51 and 6 flee out of the midst of babylon and deliver every man his soul be not cut off in her iniquity for this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. God, you know, so Esau putting, a, putting us Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know, shedding our blood in this, this place, you know, and and, and the pushing these wicked-ass philosophies on us, you know, turning our our, uh, our men into women, you know, turning our women into to, to men, you know, and even even turning our uh, our little boys into into women, you know it is, you know it is. Uh, <clears throat> payback is coming. Y'all, Bashmil Shah has uh, vengeance coming on this damn place, man. You know. It says uh, Babylon hath been a golden cup in the Lord's hand, that have made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. Consul. All these, uh, you know, the, the eastern part of the world, you know, how these, these women always, especially always, they even know, you know, they're on the east, they don't, they don't play, they don't play with those women over there, you know, like, uh, some of the middle eastern countries, you know, they don't play with them, uh, them women over there, they don't give them, uh, what's it called, uh, rights and stuff like that, you know, but with this, uh, America pushing their philosophies, you know, on the whole world, you know, they they have in some of those countries over there to where they have some rights now, you know. Like I always bring out, you know, women there's a, I think it was Iran, Iraq, you know, the damn women are, are driving, you know, by themselves over there. They didn't have that uh they didn't have that uh, right at first, you know. But with this wicked ass place pushing uh pushing those philosophies on, on the rest of the world, you know, the nations are mad. They they don't they don't want that in their uh they don't want that in their their uh, area, you know, because everything this place pushes is out of order, and they, they like I said they wasn't righteous over there, but somewhat you know they had it in, in order, you know. So let's see, uh, Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her take balm for her pain? If so, she may be healed. Con. 
you know, embalm is, is like a, a medicine, you know, like a, a something to heal this place, you know. But it said, uh, how for her take balm for her pain, if so she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Gone. This place is not going to uh, get no uh, type of ointment, no type of medicine, no type of uh, healing, you know. This place is, is, is going down, you know. And we see it quickly. We see, uh, like I say, you see, the, see all the jobs, you know. People not going to have no job, not going to... Uh, and with people less spending, you know, there's going to be even more, more uh, store closures, you know. <coughs> so, uh, we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go, everyone, into his own country. For her judgment reaches unto the heavens and is lifted even to the skies. Come on, so... These nations that once came over here, you know, try to make it uh, big, you know, opening their business. But you got uh, all these uh, gook nations, you know, that came over here uh, selling, selling our, uh, selling what, uh, what's it called? Uh, the nails, you know, nail salons and coming up with all those uh, fake hairs, you know, for these damn, for the nigga women, you know. All them, you know, they ain't going to... Uh, Thing, they they see they see this place going down, you know. They're gonna try to flee back to their country. You know, so it says, uh, for her judgment reaches unto the hev unto heaven and is lifted up even to the sky. It's gone. So yeah, how about Shemil Shai is gonna send a ICBM nuclear fire over here, man? You know? Yahweh Shai and, and his chariots is gonna come come uh, add some fire to this place too, man. You know, so this place, uh, moral to hey, the point of the story, you know, the point of this lesson, you know, this is Babylon's going to Babylon the Great, you know, which is America. You know, it, it, it's not going to say in the Bible, oh, uh, Babylon the Great is America, you know, <clears throat> but it's it, just through spirit, this is this is it is what it is, man. Babylon the Great is America. You can clearly see that if y'all about Shemuel Shai put the spirit on you to to see it, you know. All who don't see that, you're just gonna, uh, you know, either you're gonna wake up at a later time or you you just not gonna uh, see it. Period. You know, until this place be destroyed. And ultimately, you're not gonna see these these missiles coming until they come. You know. <coughs> but yeah. Uh, yeah, America, man, just just gonna continue to uh, even more uh, store closures in 2019. You know, even more layoffs. You know, and you people say, what, 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 what are you gonna do? You know, hey, just continue, continue believing in Yahweh Shmi Al Shai. You know, he gonna he gonna make a way for his servants. You know, so I'm just gonna say the Wadi Yahweh Shmi Al Shai for putting the Holy Spirit, the Rukakadash, on me to do this lesson. Double honors to our elders and apostles for teaching us the truth of this Bible. Shalom to all you walking.